Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Today we're going to talk about Hedera Hashgraph. How many Hedera do you need to become a millionaire, because everyone wants to be a millionaire, in the next bull run? And we're going to take a look at a couple of numbers. The circulating supply is what we're going to look at, and then the max supply. The max supply is about half of what XRP's is, and pretty close to what Cardano's is, slightly more. Cardano is 40 million, Hedera is 50 million, fairly similar. Circulating supply being 22.9 billion H bar. Now, when Cardano actually reached its maximum, I think it had a circulating supply of about 27 billion. But remember, Hedera is actually um, releasing H bars each quarter. And if you actually look at the distribution, last quarter in Q3, uh, which finished a while ago, they released 893 million. The quarter before that, 768 million um, H bars. And then Q2 2022, they uh, released 809 million. Q4 2021, 1.2 billion. So generally somewhere between 750 million and 1.2 billion. I would say like, let's just say like they release an average of maybe 900 million H bars per quarter. I believe the next bull run may actually start in 2023 or 2024. Let's just say it starts in a year and a half in 2024 because that kind of like matches up with the halving schedule, right? So you got about maybe six quarters left at 900 billion H, 950 billion H bars each. That's roughly like at six quarters. So you would actually get an increase of roughly like 5.7 billion H bars. And you add that to the supply right now, and you would have, there's about 23 billion right now, so about 28 billion. Very, very similar, I think, to what Cardano's circulating supply was in the last boron, and a little bit below HR, XRP's 37 billion. Now, Hedera, when it actually reaches the next boron, will have, I don't know if it has, it's going to have decentralization or not. It, it doesn't right now, and it might take longer than a year and a half to achieve actual decentralization. It won't have that, but it will have security and scaling. And I think decentralization out of those three is probably the least important in terms of the price mooning, because uh, people only really start to care about decentralization when it actually affects them. Look at Solana. It pumped up massively, and it's not very decentralized. That was proven. When uh, they kind of the network went down and they were just able to reboot it, so I don't think that will hurt uh, Hedera very much. So they have scaling and they have um, security. Now Cardano, when it actually mooned, it did not quite have the scaling. This is way before Vassal, just when smart contracts launched. XRP did have the scaling and security, but they did not have smart contracts. Um, and they still don't, which means they don't really have any kind of ecosystem to actually speak of. Hedera will actually have smart contracts. People are developing on it right now. The ecosystem is not very big, but they have a year, a year and a half to develop before the uh, bull run. But Hedera, unlike Cardano and XRP, is lacking one thing, and that is a very extremely large, ardent community. There is a lot of Hedera fans. Uh, but they're nowhere near as big. And XRP always had those Kore crazy Korean fans that essentially like pumped it up on Upbit. Like every single XRP pump pretty much has started on Upbit. And especially the 2017, 2018 pump, the Korean uh, people like pumped it like crazy. So uh, Cardano couldn't depend on that. And I don't think HBAR can depend on that because that's kind of like a special case for XRP. And they basically like took out the Korean exchanges uh, because of that, because like their price was so wild. I don't think HBAR can depend on that, but uh, you can kind of look at Cardano and XRP as kind of a parallel because the, the circulating supply is sort of similar to those two in the last next bull run. I do think Hedera has to generate some of that hype. And you know, like there's more and more people talking about HBAR now. So I do believe that there is a chance they can generate that much hype. So the thing is, I did a video about uh, a live stream about can Hedera reach five dollars? Now I think five dollars is a pretty long shot. Five dollars would make the market cap just over a hundred billion. But not even talking about market cap. Um, the thing is, like I believe that uh, Hedera can reach kind of like Cardano's price because like I said the circulating supply is going to be very very similar. Hedera is going to be in a better position technologically because even though it won't have decentralization probably it will have scaling and security and Cardano didn't have scaling and scaling in terms of um, mooning is actually more important than decentralization because like I said people don't care about decentralization 
unless it affects them. But scaling will also always affect them because if you don't have scaling, the apps can't run right. So Hedera will actually run much, much smoother. So Cardano reached just above $3 and I think Hedera can reach about $3 as well. Now, obviously at $3, you need 300,000, 300,000, uh, 333,333.33 H bars to actually be a millionaire. And I think that is the best gauge. So I'm going to say that right now, you need like 333,333 H bar to actually be a millionaire in the next bull run with Hedera. Hashgraph, to be safe, you want maybe 500,000. So let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.